Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Jersey Raven, and welcome to the Jersey Raven Experience. This is a video response to Fabled Verse. For those of you that do not know who he is, go check his channel out. That's F A B L E D V E R S E. YouTube.com slash. Okay, get it together. And he posed a question in one of his videos um, in reference to the African American. GLBT community and um, one of the questions were um, why is it not word for word but why is it that the African American community does not support uh, the GLBT community and do we feel that President Barack Obama the second question do we feel that President Barack Obama is living up to his end of the bargain since uh, President Barack Obama is gay friendly, if you will. Uh, I'm not going to get up here. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to use big words, which you know I can use. Um, I'm just going to get up here and keep it real and honest and raw. Get it together. Um, answer the question number one. Why do African American people think that they can put down or do not even support the GLBT community? My thoughts of this is I think that it has to do with, um, I would say, I don't want to say religion, but um, and them clinging to it, but I, I would more so say is their lack of understanding of the GLBT community. Um, and a lot of times, I think that a lot of people, and this is just not with it, black people, but with people in general, a lot of people fear often what they don't understand. So I think maybe if black people would sit down or anybody you know anybody excuse me anybody would sit down and take the time to actually understand the GLBT community and understand that we are tax paying law abiding uh, home owning home owning doctoring police officering uh, school teaching uh, people just the way straight people are okay there is no difference whatsoever other than who we lay down with okay and I think it all goes back down I mean to be honest with you it goes back it's it's, it's kind of hardwired into the African American community where you know the black man himself is held to such high you know high high regard and high high power that it's somehow disrespectful or somehow uh basically you're a punk if you you're gay you know you're not that machismo black man that represents family and is the provider of your family now that's not to say that because you're gay you're not a provider for your family um but i think that a lot of it is just ignorance plain and simple ignorance um a lot of people think that you know it's funny and it's cool to put down people or a group of people just because of just because they're different than you okay just because someone different than you that doesn't mean that they don't have the same feelings as a human being okay um, you know it, it it's 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 I've noticed that a lot in in the black community um, I think that most people who are putting someone down or think that they can you know disrespect someone in the GLBT community or oftentimes in a closet themselves or it's a part of themselves deep 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 down inside they might be just a little bit interested so they make fun of it they mock it you understand what I'm saying they mock it to, to, to get other people's reactions if you understand what I'm saying get it together um, you know as far as President Barack Obama li 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 living up to his end of the bargain um hmm do I think he has no because as of today as far as I know and you can correct me if I'm wrong please do uh don't ask don't tell is still in effect I still can't get health insurance for my partner that's still in effect I still in some places can adopt children because I'm gay that's still in effect so what has the president done for me lately hmm other than give me a tax break 
like he gave every other American in this country when he first took office? Nothing. So do I think that the president has lived up to the end of his stick or his bargain? No, I don't. That's not to say that he hasn't done a good job at every other thing that he said he would do. It's just that I feel that we, as a GLBT community, me being a gay person myself, yes, I'm gay, in case you didn't know. If you're looking at the camera like, no, he is not gay. Yes, I am. Get it together. But, you know, as far as him, you know, we've been put on the back burner, if you will. We're not, you know, although it's a lot going on in his administration, I understand, but... You know, we just been put on the back burner right now. You feel me? And, you know, we were used as a hot button issue during the election. So, you know, I want that button, that hot button to be pressed right now. You feel me? Because the day that I get to legally marry my partner, I don't have one, but the day I get to do that and, you know, we are together legally and you know benefits and and health care and social security and all that's tied up into one until that glorious day comes then I think President Barack Obama has lived up to his end of the bargain but until then no I don't think so Anyway, Fabled, I had to get up here and do a video response. It was a very interesting question. Me, as a member of the GLBT community, I appreciate you bringing light to this situation. Because, as you said, it is a situation that really, really needs to be had, okay? Especially in the GLBT community, as far as African Americans are concerned. So, this has been your boy, Jersey Raven, of the Jersey Raven Experience. Fabled, I hope I was able to somehow, you know answer your question like I said it's not scientific or what I say it's just how I feel okay people once again check your boy out fable verse F A B L E D V E R S E if I got that wrong fable correct me please um very very cool guy very well spoken very inspirational and very positive so get it so this has been your boy Jersey Raven and you can check me out of course don't forget me anyway let me get out of here, Fable. I hope I, you know, answered your question the best I could. I had fun doing it. And I hope it sheds a lot of light and opens some eyes up in the black community that we are all not separate, but we are all equal. You feel me? Get it together.